Hello everybody, in this Rhino 8 video recording, I would like to demonstrate a basic application of parametric constraints which will be available in this new version. Okay, let's start. First thing I want to do is go to the top view and I want to open up the constraint windows. And we can do so by typing constraints at the prompt. And this will display this window over here. Okay, I, I want to draw some simple lines and apply constraint to them. I think I'm going to use this, the poly line. Okay, just draw something simple so that we can apply constraint. Okay, something like that. Okay, the first thing to do for the application of constraint is to click on this icon to create a constraint sketch. So click on this and then the command prompt will prompt you to add objects. Okay, so uh, these are the objects that I want. Press enter. And you'll notice that um, the object has been encapsulated by this framing over here, which says uh, sketch one. So this object is um, been prepared for the applications of constraints. So uh, let me just show like how we can go about applying constraints. Basically, you can apply constraint by clicking on this icon over here and then select the appropriate uh, constraints for application. Okay. For example, uh, over here, you can see that we have these two like vertical lines. That means that Rhino has already applied the vertical constraints for these two lines. Okay. Let's say if I want this and this to be horizontal, I can apply the horizontal constraint. For example, I click on this horizontal. Now select object for horizontal constraint, this and this. Enter. And now we have a horizontal uh, constraint. Okay. Unfortunately, this angle is gone. So I let me go and do a control Z and let's just do a horizontal constraint for this one first. so that this doesn't get lost. Okay, so I, I am still retaining this and now I want this to be horizontal. Uh, let's add another horizontal. Oops, doesn't work that way. Let me give a um, length constraint over here. Okay, and I'll take this opportunity to like, uh, demonstrate how we can create value driven dimensions. Okay, you can add a constraint over here by using this length or we can create a value or dimension driven constraint. To do that, you can go to drafting. Maybe I'll just use a align dimension for this case here. Make sure the object end snap is turned on, I'll snap here here and then uh, you can see that over here we have this option driving equals no i want to set this to be driven so click on this driving set to equal yes okay so click down and notice that we have like two like dot over here okay so i can like uh double click on this and let's just round this to let's say 36 okay yeah so you can see now i have this Let's just uh, make this a uh, horizontal constraint. If it doesn't work, maybe we need to set uh, this to be parallel to this. Okay, so I'm going to try. Maybe I'll just use the parallel instead. Okay, select object this. Ah, uh, yeah, can you see now it's parallel. Okay, and maybe I can like set another uh, constraint over here. As mentioned, we can apply the dimension using the drafting method over here. Or we can also do it by using something over here, which I'm going to demonstrate. Okay, so let's say I want to have a length there. Okay, I can uh, select the line to apply a length. And now you can see that we got this uh, constraint label here. Just double click on this 
and apply a new value that's round it to 50. okay yeah so this is round to, to 50 okay unfortunately for the angle dimension driven constraint uh, is not applied in the current work in progress yet okay maybe i just do a demo that means if i if i want to like for example put a dimension driven value over here uh in theory i can go to drafting angle dimension select this and this unfortunately you notice that there is no option for us to set whether you want it to be driven or not okay so this dimension is not driven however not all is lost we can still apply the angle constraint by using the options over here so in this case i want to apply angle i can click on this select this curve and this curve okay and then i can like click on this and let's round this to let's say 102 yeah yeah you can see yeah we still can uh apply the angle constraint it's just that it, it won't be a like a driven dimension okay for the angle as of this video recording okay with that i come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you bye